Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before. So that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering long, I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least obeisance made he, not a minute stopped or stay he, but with mine of lord or lady, perched upon my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird, beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore, though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient ravering, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore, quoth the raven, never. <laughs> Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, what it utters is only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whose unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore of never, never more. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamp gloating o'er, she was ah, never more. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still of bird or devil, whether tempter sent or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore. Desolate yet all undaunted on this desert, land enchanted on this home by a horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore. Is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven. Be that word or sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shriek, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thou soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit thy bust above my door. Take thee beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. And quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of palace just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming. And the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore.